Yeah, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to run RetroArch with um, Neo Geo CD. So this is a Batacera Linux Wiki page, which shows you how to set up Neo Geo CD. Neo Geo CD with Batacera Linux. So these are the files that you'll need, and you can get them from Batacera 33 BIOS and I think it's RetroArch BIOS. This one, you can get it from both of these, download them both. And you'll need another program called CHD Man. Okay. Let's get the BIOS files in. Let's see BIOS. We'll need a file called Neo Geo CDZ. You could find that on BIOS. Bottle Sarah 33. Here it is. Send that file here. And now I'm going to open up um, Retro BIOS Pack. This you can get from here. This is the file that I'm in. I think it's called Neo Geo. Neo CD. Copy that here. And you just send these files to your RetroArch folder into Systems. You put this file here into the Systems folder. I already did. And you put this directory in. Um, Systems folder in RetroArch. I already did. That's all you do. I'm just going to delete these. Done with it. And as for the games, you have a lot of files here. This is quite messy. So you could use. Uh, CHD man, which I downloaded from here. Get download it and unzip it. This is a file. You just get the base files here. Copy to Ninja Commando. And there's a batch script here. Gonna check the batch script to see if it's okay or not. Control V, all files. It just looks like a for loop to enable you to copy, I mean, convert everything in the folder to a .chd file. So you don't have to put everything in here which would take forever you could just use a for loop to do that which this script does and you just get everything here highlight it and put it into the batch script this could take a couple of minutes i'm not doing this on the computer that i'm recording on because it takes a lot of CPU power and this thing will mess up my video capture. That's why I'm not doing it on this computer, on my computer right now, the computer I'm recording on. You could run the files like this, but the problem with this is all these files show up on the playlist. And that's that's just messy. This is just a lot cleaner.
Okay, now that's done. So the completed file is this one right here. And as you can see, it's a .chd file. So I want to change the name a little bit. I don't want to have all this stuff on here. Make it a little bit shorter. Good. Make another one. Copy that in there. Do the same. Okay, that's done. Close that. deleted that file in there and this file this folder is about 695 megabytes this file is 311 megabytes but look at the difference Three hundred eleven, six ninety four. About fifty five percent less. She could put more dot chd files than having it uncompressed like this. So you could put more games basically. Okay, now that's good. So now what I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this game into my emulator folder or Neo Geo CD, just like so. I'm going to start RetroArch now. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load or download a core or SNK Neo Geo CD. I already downloaded it and it shows by the pound sign as you can see that I already have it. Go back. Next thing I want to do is go to show desk show desktop menu. And I want to create a playlist. Okay. I'll delete the one that I have and I'll just make a new one just for this video. Right click, new playlist. Neo Geo CD, okay. Associate with this with a core, so it would be Neo CD. I'll put all the games in there. Okay. okay. 
get these also in there. Get that. Close this. Go back. Restart RetroArch. Now you can see that I have those games on there. And I'll be running some of these games. See if they run. And they should work. Press start. So I'm going to quit. I'm going to run another game. Go back. Let's try Samurai Showdown. Start again. Okay, that works good. Okay. I think that's it. Quit. Retro arc. If you have any questions or thoughts, you could leave it in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.